ClarkWoods.com. This is Horribly Off Topic, episode number 78. I am Chris. I am also Steve. <laughs> and Steve has told me that I am not allowed to make any jizz jokes on the show. I got oh, them all out of my Oh, God damn it. Could you, could you have possibly just I, left that? On I'm, the... I, I'm, just, I'm just informing the listener because it's important that they know that... Um, you can make them, Chris. I, no, I'm not no, telling no, you no, what you can or can't do. I'm going to try to episode without making any jizz jokes. A whole episode. Just do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, it's very important that, that you know that I, I got them all out of my system before the show started. I came home the other day. You can make jizz jokes all you want. I was I, just setting you up. I was throwing a softball into the, into the I'm air. I'm not going to do it. I just came, I, I, One just came to my head and I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You're welcome. I'm also Steve. You are also Steve. Wait. I, 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 I did the standard open. I said what episode it was. I said the show. I said what episode it was. I said, I'm Chris, and I left it open for you to say Steve. And I said Steve. You said you were also Steve, as if I had somehow missed something. No, I was just being a goof. No, not you. I'm going to smack you today. <laughs> um, so, I heard there was a snowstorm. Some people were calling it. Hold on. <laughs> Some people were calling Snowzilla 2016. <laughs> Snowzilla 2016. Uh, so I, I, it had some sort of an official name as far as like the Weather Channel is concerned. I think it was. Uh, was it like a tropical like, storm that became a winter storm? Uh, I don't know. I feel like they've been giving winter storms names uh, over the last year or so, and I think it's absurd because um, everything needs a name. Was it name... Snow Miser? I'm Mister White Christmas. Mister Mr. White Christmas. No. I don't know. I was just you don't making... know the song. Don't sing it along. No, with me. I was making up my uh, hey, you know, twenty or don't don't sing along a second behind a second a second behind. <laughs> on, uh, no, it was like I was following it up. Blizzard twenty sixteen. No, that Jonas. Jonas. My name is Jonas. Jonas was the name um, of the of the storm that that wasn't of the storm that didn't come. I don't... <laughs> oh, I'm gonna shit. make I'm gonna make it for you. <laughs> shit. Sounds like a personal problem. I. Oh, what was that? Uh, it was uh, two minutes. About two minutes. I made it without making a jizz joke. Do you want to start over? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is. Is this the show? Um, so uh, I dumped that first beer back. <laughs> <laughs> the. Um, and you haven't had lunch, no. so it ought to be an interesting show by the end. Yeah. Um, the uh, half in the bag. <laughs> Fuck movies. Um, Sorry. <laughs> so, I don't know about you, but the 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 whole thing about the storms has been how unreliable the meteorologists are. Like I, I they think... earlier in the week were all like, "You guys are getting hammered." And then by midweek, they're like, well, I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are going to get drilled. No. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. But I'm, I'm, I'm home alone for, for the next couple of days. Like Macaulay Culkin? No, because I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be fun to have Joe Pesci knock on your door and, and try to try to break Mur- him? Murder him? Try to, hey, he's not trying to murder him, is he? Okay. Did I we, mean, did we talk PG about this? Movie, we right? talked about it on like uh, when we, she, Becky and I watched Home Alone Two, mm, um, Electric Boogaloo. No, that that is Breaking Two. Breaking Two. Okay. Home Alone uh, Two is uh, Escape to New York in New York. Something. New something York. like that. Um, the Home Alone Two. They they uh, did a some guy did a website or not a website some blog post or something. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That was basically uh, tallying up the medical bills oh, okay. that Macaulay Culkin would have caused to these guys. Yes. And like I think the first one was like he launches them off like a thing and then they land on a car. Mm-hmm. And then like the first thing is like most likely broken back, mm. shouldn't be able to move, right. et cetera, et cetera. And then the second thing, he's like on the top of the building and he's throwing bricks down. Yeah. And he hits uh, the Daniel Stern character in the face, I think, three times. Okay. 
like the first time, if not the second or third, it probably would have killed him. Would have killed him. From that from that height, a brick hitting you in the head mm. you probably would have killed you. Maybe Daniel Stern is uh, is a mutant, an X Man. And I think uh, Joe Pesci's character would have probably died in that in that situation. Yeah, but he's Joe Pesci. When he put his head in the toilet that was filled with kerosene and the room exploded. Mm, he's Joe Pesci. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's his superpower. But I'm just saying that in real life, Macaulay Culkin would have murdered those people. Probably. Okay. Just, but just it's saying. A PG movie. Yeah, so it's just fun, little slapstick comedy. Just, oh, I threw this brick at this burglar's head. Yeah. And they're burglars. They're not murderers. No, no. But they'll do what has to be done. Well, well Joe Pesci does eventually, tw- or like, I think at the end of the second one, he, he pulls out a gun that's mm-hmm. covered in, like, goop. Because yeah, he got, yeah. like, because there's all sorts of goop everywhere. Right, right. He, Here's another thing about Home Alone 2 I don't get. He goes to, like, like this crazy, awesome toy store and buys, like, monster soap. So it's like a mm-hmm. soap with a monster head on it. Yeah. That's the thing he decides to buy. And he sp- spends, like, $20 on it. I mean, he's he's been traumatized, Steve. So he needs monster soap. He's been traumatized. He has not had a normal childhood. But, like, if you go to a toy store, wouldn't you buy a toy mm. and not soap? Perhaps, perhaps. Because he uses I, that, that same monster soap later in the movie to, like, grease up, like, mm. ladders. And yeah. Some w- was he shit. trying to um, use the soap to get his fingerprints off of a pair of keys? <laughs> Are we going back to that again? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm Ken Kratz. I'm on the show today. <laughs> My shitty mustache. Ken, Ken, what possessed you to, to wear a mustache in... in 2016, 20, 20, 20, 20 uh, you've been no, rocking that mustache for a while. Yeah, I, I, um, I shaved it off my face when I was sending dirty texts to abuse victims. Yeah, was it, what, were you, were you in, <laughs> encouraged by <laughs> the abuse victim to shave it off your face? Was that something that she, she said, you know, it, it, the mustache has got to go or if this is going to continue? No, she didn't want any sort of contact with me, even though I had the biggest house yeah, and, um, and you were the prize. I was the prize. You were the prize. She she was the hot bitch, but I was the prize. You were you were the prize. Um, Ken, did you? <laughs> How's my Ken Kratz? Is that good? <laughs> we don't really have Ken. Full disclosure, we don't have Ken Kratz in the studio. Um, there was a video. Magic of radio. <laughs> <laughs> there was a video I sent you where he. And we should get back to the Winter Storm, but there's a video I sent you where he goes and is interviewed by a female comedian, and I can't understand why he did the interview. Like, I don't understand why he did the interview, and I don't understand if she's drunk or not. <laughs> I don't think she's drunk. I mean, she, she seems like she's drinking liquor. I mean, in order, well, I mean, in maybe order that's to, like it was like, hey, do you want to do this interview? I've got liquor. In and order to maybe he was like, yeah, you know, I like I like drinking. A Nope. I mean, does it get it? Ken, does it get in your mustache? Is that part of? Is like, is your mustache like helping you out with the? Like, you can just lick it afterwards. Keeps the flavor up there. <laughs> Liquor? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not even doing. I'm playing along anymore. <laughs> like, um, do do you eat food to hope that it gets caught in your beard, Chris? Yeah, uh, sometimes yeah. crumbs, stuff like that. One time he had some food hanging off his face for three days. It wasn't anything small either. It was like a chicken wing. <laughs> Why? Why is it that we can handle winter storms? It's because we didn't get a winter storm. We got a flurry, <laughs> and the rest of the world got two feet. Why? What is it that makes New England capable of handling winter storms uh, in in ways that uh, Washington D.C. the South, uh, well, the South, the like, northern part of the South, the, the 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 South has the issue of not having the infrastructure to mm. deal with with snow. They don't have plows, right? They don't have sanding trucks. They don't have all that shit mm. that we have in abundance because of. But they have Southern hospitality, Steve. Isn't that their superpower? I don't, I don't know. I was realizing that was a dumb point. Um, I mean, they can't just... You just of, realized that? Yeah, yeah this is, it happens. It's I'm a little slow, but I'm not incredibly slow. Um, I mean, they can't just sort of like welcome the snow in and, and, and say, 
Y'all, y'all come back now. You hear? You no, can't. they don't want it to come back. They I don't mean, like the snow. But they would have to say that because they've got the southern hospitality going. They would have they to. They aren't say, the Beverly Hillbillies. They're they're, they're real people. They they southern people yeah. are real. Yeah, I was there for a bit. Mm, are you sure they weren't robots? <laughs> Why would they just fill like the entire like south of Pennsylvania? Well, Obama with obviously with robots. Yeah. Why? Okay, explain <laughs> Obama then. I'm like, <laughs> I can't explain Obama. Somebody in no, Kenya I'm, can explain Obama. No, I'm just trying to exp- explain why you thought that that was the answer. <laughs> I'm. It, it's part of a vast government conspiracy. Is he a robot? No, no, no. He's he's because he's not from the south. He's putting robots in the places where there used to be actual human beings. Where they're actually, there used to be human beings in there the There are South. plenty of people in the South. Don't get me wrong. I was there. And I'm saying that those are robots. What? They're robots. They're, they're, um, they're uh, replicants or they're, um, they're Cylons. Yeah. Was, was Harrison Ford a Cylon the entire time? Mm. No, I think that was, uh, that was uh, Edward James almost. Sounds almost right. <laughs> Um, uh, no, I, okay, so the South can't, the South can't, have, but D.C., I mean, it's D.C., they've got, like, all the, the District of Columbia. The District of Crack. Um, no, District of Columbia, you would think with all the, all the money that, that flows did through I that city. Did I say the thing that Matt said to start I don't think off? you did, no. Oh. No, I got us, well, like, uh, I got us, Matt lives, horribly off topic! Matt, li- oh, what did you just do? You made it go <laughs> shitty. <laughs> it's fine. Um, this is why I don't need to see the screen. Yes, why well, don't look at the computer screen. I <laughs> look what one you just... of us sets off that warning at least uh, once a show. Okay, so I'll just read the the first of his personal. These are personal uh, tweets to me. So tweets these to th- you. They didn't make it into the the the, the crazy. Are they 140 characters or less? I don't know. Maybe they, they can't really be tweets if they're not 140 characters or less. Well, they they are. Okay. Okay. Does that make you happy? Well, I mean, did he does he have the at Tuesday as loser in front of it? No, because it it was a personal tweet. Yeah, but see if he's trying to make it a tweet. It's a message. That's what it's called. A message. A Send message. me a tweet Twitter message. I don't know. Is it Twessage? Uh, tw- Twessage? Twat? Twitter? Twat? <laughs> All right, so in the he says in the midst of hashtags. Well, I don't know why he's hashtagging. Something. Hashtag in the middle of because uh, it's pers- Twitter. Yeah. You gotta, you use the- in the midst of hashtag Snowzilla 2016, all these guys are updating their profile pictures on Facebook with selfies of them with snow caked in their beards. Mm, better than something else caked in their beards. Like cum. <laughs> That's gonna be hard to get out. You just go. You take a shower. Yeah, yeah. I mean, assuming that you're in the vicinity of a shower. But if you were... remember that time I got myself in the, like the ear or something, or <laughs> yes. like Rick, it like, it like grazed me. <laughs> yes, I don't remember. I, I would say it's been, it had been a while. Notes, but I don't remember what one the that time. Was. <laughs> it was a the close call, <laughs> or I maybe it hit my face. I don't know. I do remember that, but I, I think I washed I my the face. Story and of that. It was fine. I, I must, I must clarify. I remember the story of that. I was not. It was my own jizz. Thank you. Your own jizz. Yeah. Um, and then he said, "I so badly wanted to comment." Winter came, and then had, as George R. R. Martin. <laughs> mm. I can't seem to finish that book. Winter came. I actually made a a joke at work that I think maybe uh, Gina. Well, I already I already told Gina about it, mm. but um, I think Gina and and, and maybe your wife. And John, mm. not not your brother John, right. other John, not not other John either, other John, <laughs> other other John, other, other John other, that other, I used other, to live with, John, other John, <clears throat> might appreciate. And it was somebody was commenting how we were getting a lot of Windows security patches, mm. and I'm like, "There's so many patches, it's like a Gleeman's cloak." I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's uh, uh what's its name uh that's not uh, that's not martin that's um that's the, jordan uh, jordan yeah. robert uh, jo- robert r no just robert, robert jordan robert jordan george martin george r r martin i like jokes that are good for like a couple of people a couple of people that's what all our jokes are good for actually uh i need to write it down but you have to have your ideal reader steve your ideal listener 
you're telling jokes, you're writing material. It's for one person, and you try to get no. That but I got I, I thought of a, a, a nice out. a nice uh, stinger for one of the mm. jokes that I've written before, Ooh, and I'm okay. going to do on Thursday. Thursday, yes. What are you it's, doing on Thursday? It's coming Thursday. It's uh, it's it's uh, Becky's birthday, mm-hmm. so we're going up to Portland, Maine. Yeah, for a little fun. And there's a place that does a comedy open mic. And then after the open mic is over, they do karaoke. Nice. So we're going to go there. I'm going to do probably about five minutes. Yep. Um, and yeah. Nice. First time in a while. Yeah, first time in over a year. Yeah. So, it's first time Becky's seen you do stand up. Yep. Yeah. So it, yeah. Nice birthday present. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, if you guys, anybody is out there in the greater Portland, Maine area or mm. feels like coming out and helping us celebrate and watch a little comedy uh, Thursday night at the Flask Lounge mm-hmm. in Portland, Maine. Portland. Downtown Portland, Maine. <gasps> Ew, nice. That was gross. I wonder if my... Um, I wonder if my... I put that at the beginning of the show, or in the middle... In the middle of the Middle show. beginning. Middle beginning. Uh, beginning middle. So people might actually have still listened to it. <laughs> um, I wonder if my brother-in-law is around the area. He works in and around, and sounds like he gets into Portland a whole bunch. Let him know. I will let him know. Um, I have something coming up, and it's a few weeks away. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna. Well, do... We're doing plugs in the middle of the show now. Well, huh? you know. You, you can you find something. me on Twitter at Tuesday is Loser. <laughs> That's Tuesday, I-S, Loser. All, all one word. word. No, no. I want to... <laughs> is there somebody that has all one word as their Twitter <laughs> handle? <laughs> you should check it out. Um, no, what I was... Um, I am going to do... A thing called three minute fiction slam. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I haven't. I haven't performed my fiction in a while. It's, it sounds sounds fun, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I forget. So the, is, this, the guy that has the hash to, or at all one word has <laughs> is following one person and has seven followers. What a <laughs> fuck. That's like what a waste. When I tried, and he got it back in two thousand seven. When I tried to sign up, and that's the thing is they have no nothing in place to get rid of these old ones. When I tried to sign up for um, ECC, it was taken by somebody else. That's how how I, I have ECC nineteen seventy seven. Uh, but ECC was taken by somebody else who hasn't tweeted now in like eleven years. I'm, I might Twitter's be been around for eleven years. Um, what is it? Two thousand sixteen? Eh, ten years. I don't know. It's, it's been, around, been around for a while. It's been around since 2006, that's crazy. at least. Um, I've been on it for a very long time. I can't um, believe it, man. You're great. February 8th. That's when I'm doing Three Minute Fiction Slam. February 8th. February Where's 8th. that? Uh, that is at the... And it's like a Monday night. Um, that is at the Stone Church Meeting House in New Market, New Hampshire. Did I say... Thir- well, I should probably say the date. Okay, yes, February, or no, January 28th. January 28th. Thursday, January 12, 28th at the Flask Lounge in Portland, Maine. Portland. Get there at 7.30. I think the show starts at like 8. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a look. Um, oh, hey, hey, Steve. dead air. What? <clears throat> Glenn Fry from the Eagles died. He did. Yeah, yeah. Get over it. <laughs> not an Eagles fan. No. No, no. I, I like, not, like, you know, the, it's not just the the big Lebowski that has, mm. that has kind of soured me on them. Yeah. I just never really found them to be very good. Yeah. And I, I really dislike Hotel California. Mm. <clears throat> like more than Stairway to Heaven? At least stairway, like I don't hear as much. Okay, I think Hotel California comes up more. It's because Wayne's World, like everyone saw the message in in Wayne's World about Stairway to Heaven, and it all stopped. Really? <laughs> no. Is that what happened? <laughs> There's never been any message. No Hotel California. There so should people, be. People just keep doing it. Um, my first kiss was to uh well what was to like but i the the song did you, did you orchestrate this the song love will keep us alive by the eagles was um how does that was, one go uh <laughs> i i'm not gonna sing along with i'm you not this gonna time. um uh no i'm not gonna try come on i want to hear it's, your first kiss song uh can i just drop it in the show right here and then you have to well you never listen to the show back afterwards no um it goes 
uh, no, are you really going to make me do this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, well, it's, it's Timothy Schmidt. Timothy, Timothy Schmidt was singing it. He was the bass player and he had like the highest voice, the kind of falsetto voice. And, and you don't, I don't know. Don't, don't, you could just do it in a, do, don't even do it in the falsetto. It just is, do like, do it in your register. <laughs> just so uh, it doesn't, my neighbors aren't like fucking <laughs> upset. <laughs> I think it goes, I was standing all alone all right, against that's the world outside. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I was searching. Oh, what did I just do? <laughs> For a place to hide. Now I find. <laughs> See, it would work if this were video. It would work if this were video because people would see your face. And they would see, they would just hear me, and they would see you gradually getting to that point of murder. Like, no, murder. that murder is just disgust. <laughs> no, so it was, it was on the tape that I made, um, uh, and was it called Makeout Mix? No, <laughs> nineteen ninety five. No, but the mix was. I, I wish that I still. Or had, sorry, no, no, probably ninety three, ninety four. Um, no, it was ninety. Four. Oh, look, see, 1994, like uh, <clears throat> just after Christmas. I used to know the date for sure. I want to say it was like the 27th or the 28th, right after Christmas. Right after Christmas. Well, I used to remember the day I got my my driver's license because it was like mm. right before Christmas. So, and what was on the radio? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Pavement. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was listening to a CD. Yeah. Um. No, I mean I liked I, I I dig the Eagles all right. I have their uh, their Hell Freezes Over album, which is what Love Will Keep Us Alive is off of. Is that the one that that has Get Over It on it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch about the pre- present, blame it on the past. I'd like to find your inner child and kick its little ass. Get over it. <laughs> I used to do but that song is so fucking I bad. Used to, I used to imagine that <laughs> and, was but the thing is like the response to saying that song is bad is the song <laughs> get over it um no see so I used to I used to envision and I still do from time to time what my live version of certain songs would be and where I would drop the f drop the f bombs so like in that song it wouldn't be kick its little ass it would be kick its fucking ass because I'm not the eagles and I can swear so if I were doing Get Over It Live, I'd like to find your inner child and kick its fucking ass. Yeah. Which is what you should say. But it, it's Don Henley and it's, it's the Eagles. I heard it's not even supposed to be the. I don't think the, the, the article is supposed to be present. I think it's just supposed to be Eagles. They're not even the Eagles. Yeah. They're no, I think they're just Eagles. Eagles. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, it's just fucking birds. The Eagles of Death Metal. That's another band. What? The Eagles of Death Metal. That is another band. That are they a the death band metal that, band or are they like a like Um that was the band that was playing in Paris when um when the attacks happened la- uh, la- late last year. The Hebdo ones? No, the the ones uh the bombings and the shooting and the the terrorist attacks. Oh, okay. That were like I wasn't there. I wasn't there. No, no, how no. would I how would I know that? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. New, I don't follow. Cause you news follow. Hey, hey, you follow the news. What, what, hey, what's in the news, Robin? <laughs> no. I forget what the bit was. <laughs> no, I mean. Oh yeah, there was an earthquake. There was an earthquake. There was an earthquake in uh, in Flint, Michigan. No, I'm getting my stories no, no, mixed there up. There was an earthquake in Alaska. Yeah. And lots of pasta sauce was spilled. <laughs> So I'll try to find the link uh, and put it in the show notes. We were looking, it was on WBUR, right? Yep. WBUR. Dot org because it's a... Dot org. Not a... Which, interestingly enough, when we went there and looked up the Winter Storm, did not mention the Winter Storm by name. They did not say Winter Storm uh, uh, Jonas. Like, because they're WBUR, like, they're too good for that Weather Channel bullshit. Um, well, it's just because it's like, hey, hashtag Jonas, hashtag Blizz again on 2016. Hey, Jonas is in your beard. What? Somebody could have said. Oh, because Matt, Matt could have said. Oh, yeah. Jonas is in your beard. Because you want to make just jokes. Because <laughs> you it. want everyone wants. To, hey, listen. That's your bread and butter. Secretly wants to make jizz jokes. Bread and butter. Bread and butter. Or bread and jizz. <laughs> Spread it on your toast. And bread and jizz. <laughs> See? Now I ruined it. <laughs> now hopefully you'll move on. 
Um, well, so there was an earthquake in Alaska, and a lot of tomato sauce was spilled. Um, and there was uh, there were water problems in Flint, Michigan. Okay, so what are the water problems? I only saw the headline. Um, oh God, you get to ask me. I, my understanding. Uh, you're, what's in the news, Robin? My news. Um, my news. The uh, the water in Flint, Michigan, is bad. That's, I understand Was that it like part. poison? Does uh, it have like lots diarrhea? Lots of lead in the water. Oh, lead. Like I think something went wrong and then uh, there's lead in the water and uh, they didn't tell anybody there was lead in the water. So there's a lot of kids developing the lead. kinds of problems that would come with lead being in the water. And then I think secondarily, the... Uh, they finally figured out how to shoot people without actually bullets. Secondarily... <laughs> The, um, without actually bullets, <laughs> without bullets. I don't need to say actually. No, without bullets. <laughs> actually, actually bullets. Um, and then I think second. I think the episode should be called actually bullets. <laughs> now is that actually comma bullets or actually colon bullets? Actually, comma. Actually, because I don't usually use colons in my speech. Ah, you use colons, you just don't realize you're using colon. Oh, good. Actually, bullets. Um, and you're not drinking a silver bullet. You're drinking a PBR. Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> oh, come on, come on! You like you you you're you're a hipster. You can you fuck can... you. I'll smash this bottle on your head. <laughs> I still have it. I didn't throw it out yet. Um, I think the secondary problem. Speaking of bottles, was uh, the the president. I think it was the president. Um, I saw shit. his uh, comedians in cars. Drinking coffee. Oh, I did not see the that. the president. It's on Clicker. Clicker? Or whatever the hell that... Clitter? Clitoris. What is the... What is the fucking... The streaming the website Clitter that's... Clitter.is. Some... I hope somebody has... Oh, you went up a little I bit did. too much. I hope somebody has that domain name. Because I think .is is one you can get. So oh, Clitter.is. Clitter is, is that the, the glitter for your clitoris? No, no. Just Clitter. Dot is. No, Clitter, there was a, like a fake ad on the internet for Clitter mm. before. and it was Oh, like, I did not, I don't know. Glitter for your for your VJJ area. Would you want glitter there? I don't know, to make sure you, the, the fella knows where it is. Mm, mm. Or to mark it. your territory, right? Like, so if the, if the fella goes in, he's coming out with glitter and he, he... Just like when you go to a strip club and you get glitter on you. Yeah, except you don't usually get or glitter go on to your a, dick. A, or at a strip club? Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm is kidding. There, Holy shit. story there? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Wow. There's no sex in the champagne room. Chris Rock told us that. He did? Yeah. He had a song called No Sex in the Champagne Room. I'm sure. Like, I saw that, um, that heroin documentary. Mm. And... Um, one of the girls was a dancer. Oh, really? And I don't, I don't think that she would have stopped, like, if a little bit of extra cash was going to come in, so mm. she could get some heroin. I don't think she would have been mm. like, yeah, you know what? I won't suck your dick, or mm. I don't know, blah blah blah. But you know, spoilers, <laughs> she's dead. Uh oh, overdose from heroin. I was gonna I, before you said that. I was gonna ask what, where, what club did she work at on Cape Cod? I think apparently I'm she. I'm just. Kidding. In the documentary, there wasn't a club in Cape Cod, oh. as, as far as I know. Well, there probably is. Okay. But the, the club she was working was one in New Hampshire. Oh, okay. So we were assuming uh, the Gold Club, the one that... The uh, old, old mock, mock show place. The one that used to live up the road from. I did. And we never went there. We were, we were like... As who, a, who is we? You and a, I or you and your wife? No, you and I. As a goof, I remember but when, we, when I was going to move. As a goof... We, we haven't like, done a strip club about, talk in a while. We, we, well, <laughs> that was the thing, is back then we talked about strip clubs. We've never together. gone to a... Well, actually, no. We've only once gone to a strip club We've only club once together. gone to a strip club together. And that was your bachelor party. That was my bachelor party, yeah. Um, but as a goof, I think we were going to go and we were going to, like, you know... I don't know what. What, have, like, do a podcast from the strip club? <laughs> Hidden hey, uh, strip club. Uh, do you mind if you turn the music down a bunch so we can do this? Like, no, just get radio? lav mics. I mean, well, the thing is, you get padded down, right? Don't you get padded down when you go to strip club? Well, we'd have to like let them know if we we're going to try to do something. Yeah, like hidden that. microphones. Like, like put the put the actual like mic pack in your uh, in your pants, right? And then you just have the lav mic on you, and then that way 
you don't have to let anybody know. You just have normal conversation, and at the end of the night, you compile all of that into a show. I mean, I, I, it's 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 a weird yeah, thing. No, that's I a mean, bad idea. <laughs> no, no. But like the thing is, like there there are legitimate people that are just like you know getting going there, Absolutely. working working to get a little extra cash for college. Yeah, as the, as I, the, I don't think there's anything wrong with. And that. there are some um, past their time prime honeys <laughs> that uh. Are still working and perhaps shouldn't be, but maybe the uh, the owner's uh, generous hmm. with maybe. their time. And I don't know. And then there's the people that are just on drugs and and and, and or just want more drugs or right right who want more glitter for their clitoris 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 glitteris. What the fuck were we talking about? I don't know. Of, um, we were talking about uh, the news. Oh, oh, water problems in Flint, Michigan, I think was the last Yes, thing. there was glitter in the water it and kids glitter. were like look, <laughs> vomiting like they were at a craft fair. And then there was, oh, no, the president. The president. I mentioned the president and then started. And I said in. cars and coffee. Cars and coffee, which led us to strip clubs. How did that get to strip I clubs? I don't know. I'll find out when I listen back to the episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, the what the hell was I gonna say? So, um, president, the president. I, don't, I think it was the president. It could have been some uh, some politician in, Who's in the Michigan m- instead. Um, sent a bunch of bottled water up to uh, up to Flint, but it was bottled in Flint. <laughs> like, where's Michael Moore? Like. Michael Moore was all was thrilled about it because I think this happened. He got he got like the biggest direction ever. <laughs> well, no, that the that the president sent bottled water up there. But then I saw somebody criticizing, um, I think it was the president for sending the bottled water instead of fixing the actual like spending like however many millions of dollars or whatever on sending bottled water up there instead of fixing the actual problem. I think that was what the criticism was. Although I'm not sure. There's a really good Lewis Black bit about mm-hmm. water and how, you know, we should be able to drink it from the faucet, but har- hardly anybody does anymore. Right. Yeah. Or they put the through the filter mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, and like, I, I'm not going to butcher it by trying to replicate it, but go out and fucking find it. I think it's probably on a Lewis Black special or something. You would hope it would be on a Lewis Black special instead, instead of, of some on, other comic special. Patton Oswald Or... There was a, oh, I, or an episode of One Piece. They just had to drink twice. Come on. Why? Because they because I it? mentioned Patton Oswalt <clears throat> and and One Piece. Well, you, actually, if I mention One Piece, they have to finish their drink, right? Yeah. You're, you're just you're doing welcome. it so people get drunk. <laughs> people most of the time probably either listen to at work or on the way to work, and I hope they're not fucking drinking when they're that's doing true. either of those that's things. True. If well, we actually, if you work at a job where you can drink, then God damn it, more power more to power you. More power to you. If you're a stripper yeah. out there listening while you in between, like what are they, they got teeny like invisible <laughs> teeny little, earbuds? They got the earbuds in uh, in. Yeah, but don't you have songs. to dance to a song? Like you don't you have to like do some sort of thing to a song? What if you if I say one piece, you have to get up and strip to a song? Oh my God! If you are a stripper, mm. don't you actually have to listen to the song that's playing so yeah, you can no, dance to it? No, but what I'm saying it? is, if like you're in between sets or whatever is it called a set i don't know i'm imagining yeah it's like a set i'm imagining you're a set you've you've come down from the stage you're kind of not working the floor at the moment you go over to the bar maybe you put some earbuds in and you listen into the podcast no no you gotta like the the way you make your money as a stripper Mm. is through private dances so you're not gonna waste that like time to listen to our fucking asses it might get you more drunk if you know what the what the in jokes are and then maybe that will maybe maybe being no, the thing is like, will help you be freer when you give the private dances, which then somebody, gives you better tips for somebody who is not shy at all about taking their every bit of clothing off in front mm. of a human being, mm. another human being. Most of the, most of the time, are probably sketchy or gross or weird. Mm. Um, I think yeah, you yeah, don't it, really need alcohol at that point. No, probably not. In fact, you could probably get a drink from them, and mm. then you know maybe. The, the, the place makes a little money, and then I think maybe the, the dancer gets a little kickback or something like that. Something like that. Because they can make a, a, a not strong drink for the dancer and save some money and then right. charge full price to the person that's uh, that's the old gullible. Old gullible old man. Doesn't, they don't have to be old. <laughs> Just saying. 
Just saying. Have just, you been a gullible, gullible man at one of those places back in the day? I hope I'm not. Oh, but, oh fucking. You have to look at this. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well, Steve's got to get something. And... I got this in the mail the other day. Oh, okay. Something in the mail. It's uh, a letter. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read the letters. I spy, because we're, we're trying to teach my, my younger daughter to read right now. I spy two A's, mm -hmm. an R, and a P. Yes. So I got this in the mail, and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Don't you have to be like 50 at least? Yes. Apparently, they think I'm 50. Well, apparently, they think that there is uh, such a person as Earl C. Clark Sr., well, they're, they're also, like, I get emails all the time for Dr. Stephen Woodbury, <laughs> yes. the dentist, and I've mentioned that before. Right, right. Or maybe it might be S. Woodbury, whatever the... Right. S. What, whatever S. Woodbury is instead of S. Woodbury, and you've got something at the end yeah. of, uh, of yours um, that's uh, before the, the email address. Um, yeah, I used to get that for, because I had, um, and I have no shame in saying it, because I don't think I have control of it anymore. I had E. Clark at Hotmail.com. No wow, numbers, no look anything. look at that. I was, I was early to the party, and then so many people wanted it over the years. They would fill out forms, password requests, and like try to hack into the account, and eventually I just stopped using it and let whoever wanted it get a hold of it. Um, but... In that, in the interim, though, I got tons of those. As there started to be E. Clark four and E. Clark uh, seven hundred and fifty two, um, I would get their messages too. Um, Anything good? No, not usually. <laughs> um, water problems in Flint, earthquake in Alaska. No, but like, okay, so the Flint Fry. Like, what I was saying was, why isn't Michael Moore like you know doing something besides making it a. a terribly biased documentary <laughs> it's like this is that's his hometown that's his fucking bread and butter there yeah. he should be going there and he should be fucking raising hell and not like I, I didn't hear a goddamn thing about him oh i well i saw somebody retweeting him around the time of either the state of the union or when uh the president sent the bottles of water up there so i mean he's he's out there i just are we paying attention because I don't, I, I hope I don't follow him. I would yeah. not want to follow. As much as like I, I tend to be left leaning. I, mm. I just, I, at a certain point, about, I, I lost my like taste for Michael Moore. Yeah, I, I remember in grad school we all went um, to see. Was it Fahrenheit nine eleven? Was that the, was that the name of it? The I one, think so. The one that he did around uh, September eleventh. Because the what was the book Fahrenheit? 451. Okay, yeah. So Fahrenheit 9-11, I think, was the one um, that Moore did. And so we all went and saw that. And, and so for a little while there, I was I was staying aware of what he was doing. But um, when it, I think it was the, the one where he went down and he was on a boat off of uh, Guantanamo. Mm -hmm. um, and he's like, he's on a loudspeaker and he's shouting something out at them. And, and it started to occur to me that it's really just like... It's it's almost the flip side of Donald Trump. Like it's no, no, kinda... it's the the flip side of Jesse Ventura. I think. Okay. Yeah. I... Jesse Ventura, I think, did the same thing for his stupid like conspiracy show. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Thermite paint. <laughs> the um, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this before the show or during the show, but the comedian that I I think it was before the show. There's a comedian I follow, uh, Sarah Benincasa, and Sarah was sheltered as a youth and um, had never seen Predator. And, oh, um, Jesse Ventura <laughs> is in that movie. And she was uh, she was sort of uh, tweeting uh, as it was um, as she was watching it and making you know comments on on how just ripped all of those guys are you in that son of a bitch <laughs> in that movie. Um, Apollo Creed, uh, Carl Weathers is in that movie too. I, I I gather it's been a long time since I saw it, um, but she mentioned. Uh, that he's in there. Carl Weathers is also in Arrested Development, isn't he? I don't know. I just know that there's money in the banana stand. That's all that I remember about Arrested Development. Take that bone, you put it in a pot, and you got a nice stew going. <laughs> Was that Carl Weathers? Now I'm fucking <laughs> thinking I'm racist. A little bit ping pong. Um, uh, so, let's see. Um, I mean, Twitter is is where... Is where all the funny stuff happens. Um, earlier, 
uh, no, it was last week. It was last week because this was on last week's show notes. Um, you and uh, and Pat and Oswald both had funny things to say about. Well, you retweeted Pat and Oswald um, about uh, Deadpool, which oh, yeah. is a, which is a movie that's coming out. Were yeah. you 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 looked it up? Were you racist? Was it Carl? No, it, it, I think that was in fact him that was in. Uh... Okay. All right. I was just I was just buying time, folks. Uh, still, till Steve could hold on, could rejoin us. Carl could, could Weathers. IMDb be less of a like. I don't want movies. I just want. You just want Carl. Weathers. I want television. <laughs> what? Uh, he was in a little Nicky. Hey Siri, was uh, Carl Weathers in Arrested Development? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm, let me think. Was he? I found this on the web for what is a Carl Weathers in Arrested Development. It looks like it. Uh, Carl Weathers, arresteddevelopment.wikia.com is what's coming up here. Oh, boy. Um, and that certainly looks like Carl Weathers. Uh, Carl Weathers is a thrifty movie star and Tobias's acting coach. Okay, good. Thank God. You were not <laughs> being racist. I was you very can... worried for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. Was that Carl Weathers or was that somebody else? No, no, no. Um, now, can you remember? Oh, did, this is testing my racism or not? No, no, no. I'm, not test- I'm testing your memory, not your racism. Um, can you remember what it was that you said? Because I'm looking for it now. Uh, what you what, what it was you said about Deadpool. Because it's a movie that's coming out, Deadpool. I didn't um, say it. It was somebody oh, else that said Oswald. it. What? Was it Patton Oswalt? It wasn't Patton Oswalt. Why do I have that in my notes? It was one of the the guys that uh, is on the One Piece podcast often. Okay. But he's also a comic book author himself. Is at Joey Weiser. He's a he's a pretty funny guy. I'd, I'd say. Mm. Um, follow him if you like things that are Japanese that are really Japanese that he likes to retweet. Mm. But he just said uh, Deadpool is the Spencer gifts of superheroes. <laughs> Now, what is Spencer Gifts? For those folks out there who don't know what Spencer Gifts is. It's a place <laughs> in the it's mall. Been around, it's been around since we were kids, right? It's yeah, there was definitely a place that I wanted to go hmm. probably 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> was it supplanted at all by Hot Topic? Um, No. no. I think Hot Topic is a... Is, is, a, different, different is the thing. other side of the same coin. Okay, okay. Sort of like Jesse Ventura and uh, Carl Weathers. No, Jesse Ventura and... and uh, Michael, Michael Moore. Moore. Right. Shouting from freaking megaphones in a boat. <laughs> fucking morons. Um, now, what is Deadpool? Deadpool is a superhero. Mm. Who is cheeky and aware of the fact that he's in a comic book. That's right. That's right. But he's the Spencer Gifts of superheroes. But the thing is, like, I, I don't dislike Deadpool, but, he, like, you know, it's sort of a way, like, because I'm going to see the movie. I will I've never be. actually read any of his comics, but, yeah. like, you know, of what I've seen of him, it's just, it's fun. Yeah. It, Rob like, Liefeld is the guy who created him way back in uh, New Mutants 98, 99, 100, something Doesn't he have like a frame? similar power to Wolverine? Where he... Yeah, he, he, um, he heals really fast uh, is, the, is the gist of it. Um, although not his fucked up face, which of course is part of the... Well, doesn't um, he get like a weird cancer or something like yeah, that? Yeah, that's... Uh, and and you, so here's the thing is that when Leif, Liefeld is incredibly proud of having created him, but as far as I know, basically what Liefeld did was create the look of him, which in Liefeld's mind is is the thing. He created a guy who, who's an assassin who like looks like Spider-Man except with white eyes um, in the... like the. You know, if you if you looked at a picture of Spider Man, go look at a picture of Spider Man next to a picture of Deadpool. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so he created the look of this guy, um, and he was an interesting antagonist in those early issues. But I don't remember him being anything like what ever the sort of mystique about Deadpool is today. Um, the jokes about his, you know the joke in the trailer about his face looking like an avocado fucked another like an older avocado fucked a younger avocado. Ah, whatever the hell the joke. Well, is. Avocado is doing pretty good over there. I got it in the sun. Is it an older avocado? No, it's a young one because it's growing into a tree. Ah, okay. Deadpool, I feel like a lot of Deadpool came later on. Um, and I'll go see it too. I, I just, um, 
I'm not sure that I'm as I, maybe I'm the maybe it's again that we're old men. I'm not sure that I'm the right demographic for Deadpool. Um, I feel like Deadpool was a thing that people just slightly younger than us got really interested in a guy who's essentially um, a murderer and uh, assassin. Steve Avery. <laughs> No, I think you're thinking of... Um, hey, of it's me, Ken Kratz again. Ken Kratz. <laughs> when they searched Deadpool's house, did they find the keys on the... No, they the did first, it on the eighth time. <laughs> the, eighth time. the keys to uh, Cable's uh, Corvette. Um, did he kill Cable? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the, the comic lore at this point. I, they, were, they, were in a t- they were teamed up for a while. Cable and Deadpool was a, uh, was a, was a comic book team-up series for a while. I am, I am vaguely aware of that. Um, the movie, the movie seems interesting because it's going to be rated R, um, and which is great because we don't get too many R-rated. Yeah, I think it's the first comic book R-rated um, superhero movie. Certainly, there um, are, what, what was it? Uh, fucking well, Watchmen was yeah, rated Watchmen. R, yeah. But I, yeah, I, I guess it's the same category. Um, I know certainly there are other comic books that have been adapted. The Crow, I think, was an R-rated film, but I don't necessarily think of The Crow as uh, as a superhero. You can well, argue with me. Well, at least the, the actor playing him wasn't a <laughs> No, no. He did not have the power to get shot in the chest and survive. Rest in peace, Brandon Lee. Brandon. Brandon. Brandon Lee and Bruce Lee. And Bruce. Daughter survived. How's she doing? I don't know. Um, I remember when she was she was a... She played a singer. I like how I asked you like you would have known. She played a singer in um, in the... Dra- was it called Just the Dragon? I think it was called The Dragon. The movie about Bruce Lee's life that came out shortly after Brandon died. So um, Was Brandon playing him and then no, was Brand- supposed no, to play it him? No, it was another guy. <laughs> Some other guy. The, the guy. He played one of Biff's... No, Griff's... Um, uh, flunkies in Back to the Future Part Two. The one that's like the Asian guy. Oh, <laughs> that, that guy, guy played Bruce. That Lee? guy played Bruce Lee. Unless you got power. <laughs> yes, and I didn't realize it until years later. I was like, wait, that's that. And his name, I think, is Jason Scott Lee. I think that's his name. That's not an Asian name. <laughs> anyway, so I think um, uh, Bruce Lee's daughter had a cameo in that film, and so as in of, Back to the Future Two. No, in The Dragon, the movie that Back to the Future 2 guy was in playing Bruce Lee. Um, so as far What's back What's wrong, as- McFly? Don't got any scrot? <laughs> <laughs> ah, um, well, I just don't want to do this because my father. Your father? <laughs> wrong answer. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's such a good movie. It's such a good scene. Um, at any rate, yeah. Hey, you! So- don't stop pedaling. <laughs> as far back as when that movie came out, I think uh, Bruce Lee's daughter was okay. Um, what, when Back to the Future Two came out, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Steve, yes, we are we are recording uh, at two twenty p.m. on Sunday. Yes, so, so we're we about are a- actually we are actually doing the pregame for a game. That everyone, by the time they hear this, will have already. What is what? What station is the game? Uh, the on? game will be on uh, Channel Four. Which is that? CBS. Yeah, CBS has it. So, so it's C- Thursday Night Football then. <laughs> a what? You didn't hear about that? Like no. I was watching one of the games on Saturday, uh-huh. and it was because like CBS had like. Uh, copyrighted Thursday Night Football or something like oh, that. Oh, really? Because I guess they only have Thursday night football. And so they're like, it's Thursday night football on Saturday. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing, you fucking morons? I did not hear about that. Oh, sleepy ass. No, so um, it's, it, I think it's just regular, regular old football here on, on CBS. It's on, on Sunday, Sunday afternoon football? Sunday afternoon football Although it's probably well, No, they're in mountain time. They they're are in mountain the, time. Up in the Rockies up there in Denver. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't... <sighs> It doesn't really make a ton of sense. They're going to be playing starting at uh, how how far is the, the mountain time? Is get, it two hours away instead right, of three. So, I mean, they're starting at like one o'clock. It's just it doesn't make any sense because I think the other game is on the east coast, and the other and the other game is starting late. What is the other game? The other game is Carolina and Arizona, and I think it's in Carolina. So Arizona beat the Seahawks. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
And so I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's Arizona is traveling to Carolina, but I could be wrong. Um, at any rate, the Patriots are traveling to the Broncos for their fifth to, to Denver for their fifth straight AFC championship game. Yeah, well, you know, we 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 are a consistent team. We I are. mean, like we are either in the Super Bowl or like almost in the Super Bowl. For five year. years we've been at least, you know, like one well either in the Super Bowl or one game away. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, like, you know, anybody, the, your, your whiny pants out there in New England, they're like, oh, we don't have football mm-hmm. uh, space. I don't know when they're talking about space. <laughs> they're stellar. Uh, they're, they're, I mean, you know, and it's it's not always because we've deflated our scrotes. Like, uh, no, that's, a, I can't, I was trying to make a joke. This is why I don't, it should never do stand-up or, or improv or any of that. Scrotes, deflated footballs, McFly. I didn't walk away, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So here's the thing is that I didn't even really want to talk about this because there's the chance as there is because no matter how much the Patriots cheat, as we've joked about all season, there is a chance that they still might lose. There's a chance that they might lose. Because like Peyton Manning or no, Eli Manning, you know, has proved to us twice Mm. that he will throw the ball into he will I don't want to say throw. I, he will huck the ball into the air, <laughs> and it will somehow land like in the hands of a receiver, right? Like off of their helmet or yeah. some other fucking nonsense. Hmm. But this is they don't find a way to to beat us. We have beaten Peyton Manning. We have Manning. beaten Peyton Manning. I don't know if we've beaten him in Denver, um, but we, we didn't this year. I don't. We didn't this year. No, this year. Or did was, we? No, we no, didn't. That, one but of the reasons Peyton we're going to Denver is because we didn't beat them. Yes, and. Um, but Peyton wasn't playing that game. That sounds right. Yeah, I don't. I, like it, we were, we were hurt. It was the end of the season. I don't think we were, and we were basically guaranteed a playoff spot. Mm, I think. I think we, it, we I were think also the even. Game was later. That, that was the. I can't. I could be wrong. I no, I think we were guaranteed at least a buy. Yeah. And so we were just like, uh, so basically, all we were playing for was home field advantage at yeah. that point, which we might have gotten anyways had we played the Steelers. Right. Right. So, like, to throw, like, your full force on an injured team mm. of an injured team, like, at, at an opponent that, uh, of a game you don't really need to win. Yeah, not the smartest, uh, not the smartest strategy. And generally speaking, Belichick, our coach, is is, uh, is a smart guy. I think speaking. that that season that we uh, the the that we lost to the Giants the first one mm. that perfect season that we we're yeah. supposed to have if we didn't have that perfect season I think we might have won that game yeah you think so because of the fact that like we were just like okay we have this perfect season we have to make sure we win all these fucking games yeah or else it'll we won't as have much that. as they would say it was one game at a time and, and that the the pressure of of maintaining perfection wasn't wasn't in their heads you would say that the pressure of perfection was in their heads it wasn't necessarily in their heads mm-hmm. i think it was the fact that we were probably a lot more dinged up yeah as a, as a, as a fact because like when you're playing a team like you know as an as an opposing team mm. when you're playing a team that is like has not been beaten yeah in a given season you're like you're gonna play a little fucking harder right, you're like right. i want to take down i want to be we want to be the guys that take down these fucks yeah and of course, that that is probably well. Again, we're pre gaming this, and you're all hearing it after the game is over. I'll be li- <laughs> the reason I didn't want to do because I'll be listening to it when I go to edit it after the game is over. And if they lost, then this whole portion is going to be a fucking because I get angry. No, but the thing uh, is, like, we might have better luck this time because right. we have a healthier team. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it, it's a but risk. we might still lose. Who knows? Yeah. Fucking well, whatever. It's like we won the Super Bowl we were last year. To take back at the uh, at the Super Bowl, like we recorded. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. Wait, we're no not, fourth wall. No fourth wall. Yeah. Anyway, so um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, forget that part happened. Um, An amazing prediction that I made. Amazing prediction that you made. Um, at any rate, yeah. So they're they're playing the Broncos. They're playing Peyton Manning again. They sound people's... more drunk at the end of the show. I don't know why. <laughs> Some people are saying this is um, Peyton, possibly the last time you'll see Peyton and Tom Brady play against each other. I, I think because Peyton's done. I, I don't think he's, he's said gonna, he's done. He's going to, I need to do more car insurance ads. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Pizza, pizza joints. 
What it, else does he do? A, there's a generational thing. I'll tell you that my my dad and my uncle and like men of their generation aren't don't hate Peyton Manning as much as men and women of my generation hate Peyton do, Manning. Do, do women not hate him of their generation? Oh, I don't either? know. I don't know if women of their generation care. Oh, I, like my because mom, I don't think cares about football nearly as much as like Candy Crush. <laughs> All right, my mom likes football. I'm not saying there's any... <laughs> I'm just saying... Okay, so men and women of their generation. Thank you, Steve. I will correct myself. Yeah, why I don't, don't you, think... you, you... You made the point of saying men and women of our generation, but well, you did not... I, the reason I said men and women of our generation um, is because I, I have female friends who are bigger football fans than any of my male friends. Um, and we all together as a collective... I don't know how you feel, but most of the people I know hate Peyton Manning with a passion. And my, my folks are just like, why do you hate him? Like, I, I used to have like like sort of a hatred for him, but now I'm at a point where I don't give a shit. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. <clears throat> I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. If we lost. I then you're going to hate him more? No. And I if we don't, you're going to be like, oh, say, well, you know, it was a good game. I hope it's because of somebody else. I hope it's because of their defense or something. Or well, circus our defense. We well, can... I don't want to get back into last game <laughs> and that guy that wouldn't push in his chair. <laughs> right. No, let's not do that. Um, so well, we did. We did. We talked about the thing that you didn't want to talk about being the football game. Yeah, we did. What did else we... is on the list? Because there yeah, was a we, couple we, of things. We kind of went through everything. Um, we got... Oh, oh, I should say. Oh. Because we're almost at the end here. There was somebody who asked for a shout out. On the show, and I'm just gonna give a shout. You're out. doing it at the end. At the end, but see, I so there's this there's this program called. So the, he'll listen to the whole show. Is that why you're doing this? <laughs> well, I could do that. I could be an asshole, or I could say there's a. Program <laughs> we called, did a shout out for you in the show. There's a program called Overcast, um, and Overcast, uh, when you link to them on the web, you can link to a very specific time marker. So I can say, for him, I'll say, hey, go right here. Don't no no. Make him listen to the Make whole him fucking thing. To the show. I don't know this person. <laughs> no. So there's a guy that I know, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, he uh, is uh, in charge of a place called Vayner Media, and they do a ton of work for uh, for websites and digital people and, <laughs> and businesses of all sorts. Oh, he does stuff. He does things. <laughs> he does things. Well, so he's got a book coming out, and he, but, but that's not what he wanted to plug. He has a show called um, Daily V. Which I was watching, I think mm, last sounds sexy Sunday night, <laughs> last Sunday night or um, uh, or Monday. It was after we had recorded, but bef- it must have been last Sunday night after we recorded, but before the episode came out. And he said uh, he saw that I was watching it, and he tweeted at me. He's like, "Shout out on your next podcast?" Question mark. And I said, "Well, we we recorded maybe if he gives that- us a shout out on his next fucking vagina <laughs> video." <laughs> it's not. I don't know. I didn't watch it. You watched it. <laughs> I did watch it. No, I'm blind on you're this. You're blind. No. Um, you're just bringing this up right now. I am <laughs> just bringing it up right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no. So he, so I think it's he does this thing where he's got um, he's got a person following him around with the camera to give you sort of behind the scenes insights into his. Here's me taking a leak, eh? <laughs> He's not kidding. <laughs> oh, sorry. Or from Wisconsin. Here's here's me taking a leak, guys. <laughs> he's from uh, he's from New Jersey, as a matter of fact. Oh. Oh, don't give a look. There's nothing wrong with New Jersey. Chris Christie. Oh, okay. There's nothing wrong with the Jets because they're out of the playoffs. Oh shit, that's <laughs> now he's now he's not gonna. What about the Jets. Giants? <laughs> I don't think he's a Giants guy. I think he's well, a, they, they play he, in the I know same field. In fact, they... he's a Jets guy, and he hates the Patriots. Well, if you so, if you are so, if you so are if a fan of a team the whole, in the Eastern Conference, yeah, you hate the Patriots. If, if you I, you're, you're a Buffalo Bills fan, you're not going to be like, well, you know, I, I'm kind of indifferent about the New England Patriots. <laughs> I see he's a really busy guy, so I can't imagine he's listening to this. But I can imagine that he might have, if he saw it, that he might have he might have had an assistant or somebody take a listen. If they listen through that whole thing, and they, <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> And they got the, they're like, "Hi, right, Gary. Yeah, yeah, listen to like the last four minutes of the show. <laughs> when, Skip when the Chris... part about the Patriots. Uh, it'll make steam come out of your ears. It's a good show. I don't, I don't know what it is about it. And and it's, um, I 
wonder if I would find it, because I was trying to give him, I mean, he doesn't need advice from me. The guy's fucking probably loaded in terms of of, of money. Um, he's <laughs> loaded in terms ter- what other things could you be loaded in terms of? Just just ask it. <laughs> he could be loaded in the way that you're loaded right now. Oh, yeah, that loaded. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, so he, yeah, he could be any, three beers into a podcast. That's he fine. He doesn't need any advice from me. Um, but in sitting there and thinking about like why do I find Daily V compelling? Like it's a, it's a camera. Of f- <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he tell you to say that? No, I find it compelling. <laughs> but why do I find it compelling? Like if I were going to try to tell him, I wonder if it's. Is he paying us money for this? No, he's not. I would you let me finish and we'd be done. <laughs> I wonder if it's only because, like, I, I've met the guy at a couple of book signings and I follow him and whatever, that that show is compelling to me. Uh, he, has, he does another show that's almost daily that's kind of like tips and advice, whereas this one is kind of like a tw- uh, anywhere from like a 15 to 20 minute show behind the scenes. Like, I find it compelling, but I wonder if that sort of show would be compelling to anybody who doesn't already follow him, which is why I didn't send you a link this week. Um, cause I was like, you have no idea who this guy is. You're going to get five minutes. I would have been like, who's this asshole? <laughs> you might have been. Now I, I didn't though. I didn't see didn't. it. So I don't know. Yeah. I might've said this is quite interesting material. <laughs> yes. Backpedal. <And>, um, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's, it's an interesting show. And if you have any interest in, in furthering your, your brand or your company or your whatever on social media, you should check it out. Yeah, because we can't apparently do that ourselves. We can't do it. <laughs> Don't listen to us. We're dumb. We're we're dumb and drunk. Actually, I'm not. I I've had. I'm not drunk either. No, oh, sure. No, oh, fuck you. <laughs> we should plug some shit and get the fuck out of here, so you can drive home and watch the game in a couple of hours. Uh, in, in like twenty minutes. It's in twenty minutes. Yeah, it's in like twenty minutes. I thought it was a four o'clock game. I think it's a three o'clock game. Fuck you. No way. No, I think it's a three o'clock game. So let's finish and then. Hey, Siri, when is the Patriots game? Is she not listening? She might not be listening. Siri! God damn it, you cunt. (laughs) Hold on. Hey, Siri, when's the Patriots game? (laughs) When does yours listen to you? Face the Broncos in the AFC Championship at 3.05 p.m. Holy shit, I thought I was at four. <laughs> <laughs> no. So let's plug some shit and you can go find a bar to like the like uh, you know watch I have the to game. find one that I can walk to. I mean, <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> um you can find the show notes for this episode at uh, Clarkwoods.com slash hot slash seventy eight seven eight all one number. Do you think I watch at the at the Elks? Maybe. I don't know. How far is the Elks? I think it's over there. Yeah. yeah I think, I'm I, pointing in a direction. Pointing in the direction, yeah. Go watch the Elks with the old guys. I don't know. Like, what? Like, can you go to the Elks Club if you're not a member? I don't know. You went to the Elks Club for, like, wrestling, didn't you? Yeah, but that was a paid event. I don't know. I, like, I... Hmm, that's a good question. Like, my dad goes to the Legion in, in, uh, in the town. But he's not a... But he's not a vet. Yeah, he's not a veteran of a foreign war or yeah, anything. Not a veteran of a, of a domestic war either. You can follow me on Twitter at ECC1977. And you can follow me on Twitter at Tuesday is Loser. That's Tuesday IS Loser, all one word. Uh, and you can follow at all one, at all one word. <laughs> so you have more than seven followers. And you can look at his three tweets that he tweeted over the, the span of since 2007. Email us. Uh, hot, no. Hot at clarkwoods.com. Did I already you say that? You fucking made the email. Why are you looking at me? I say it wrong every time. Email us. Hot at clarkwoods.com is the email address. Uh, tell us um, your your favorite part of this here uh, bit of shenanigans. <laughs> this show was fucking like all over Bonkers, the place. Bonkers all over the place. This was all over the place. This is fucking craziest show I've ever been a part of. It's hardly off topic. We Is can't, that like Bobcat we Goldthwait We there? can't end it that way. We can't end it that way, no. How can we end it? I don't know. Should I just pour cold water on you? Um, You have like some sort of splash sound effect you can put in there? I could. Eh, wet head. Ah! <laughs> towel off. Mm. Oh, towel blo- off. You're blowing the floor, eh? Oh, eh? <laughs>
And <laughs> blowing the floor. Why would I be blowing the floor? Beer shampoo, eh? Is there anything is there anything vaguely phallic on your floor? It's never Did mind. Blo- Listen to the Bob and Doug McKenzie album. Oh. For reference. Oh, eh. Take off.